Hello class, Trevor Burns with you again. Uh, this week's assignment, uh, we were to talk about an experience where the GPS failed us, um, or uh, uh, if, if that hasn't happened, uh, a time where we had uh, navigational issues. Um, I uh, can't say that I've ever had the GPS fail or a component of the GPS fail on me before, uh, save one time that an antenna wasn't uh, hooked up properly. Um, but uh, I am currently dealing with a uh, fault in uh, Garmin product that uh, is causing some issues and thought I would talk about that. I've uh, got a uh, 172R model that just recently got a dual Garmin G5 installation. And with that, um, there's a magnetometer that's installed in the wing. And in this particular installation, um, after the airplane has been flying for a week without any problems, the uh, heading um, has failed. So you get a little red X over the heading in the uh, DG position. And um, with that, uh, the uh, uh, directional gyro um, would have to be assumed that it is not working accurately. In this case, it still seems to be working um, quite well. Uh, but the Red X uh, system fault is not clearing. Um, but in the air, if you were flying, um, you would want to um, assume that that was not providing reliable information. Back that up with your magnetic compass. And also, if you have the full Garmin package, you probably have a uh, the GPS... Uh, is functioning and you can get your uh, at least your GPS track um, it's obviously not going to show your uh, true heading um, but uh, balanced with the magnetic compass um, uh, you can determine that and uh, so yeah that would be the one time uh, uh, that I've had uh, things fail on me, I guess, um, and hope you all have a good week.